Sorry, Joanna. Don't give me that. Are you the same Joanna who usually sits here? Don't try to ignore this, Dick, because after what you did last night, I have every right to be angry with you. When we went to bed last night, you, you weren't mad at me. I must have been some demon with those covers. <laughs> you spent the whole time flirting with another woman. When? Last night. In my dream. <laughs> ah. For a minute there, I... I thought you were upset over nothing. We were at a dinner party eating sesame chicken, and you spent the whole night talking and flirting with this brunette in a flowered hat and ignoring me. And, and, and that was it? Until your ears got big like Dumbo's and you flapped away. <laughs> it was well, all so real. But, but it, it... It was just a dream. I know it was just a dream, but it feels like it really happened. But... But it didn't. But it's just the sort of thing you would do. Morning, Dick. Morning, Joanna. You know, George was there, and he was mad at you, too. I was? When? In uh, Joanna's dream. Oh, I'm sorry, Dick. Do you forgive me? <laughs> uh, don't be silly, George. You, you don't have to forgive people for something they did in a dream. Right, Joanna? <laughs> Don't worry, Dick. I'm not really mad at you. If I were, would I ask you to come with me to the Southern Vermont Hardware Expo? You might. It's for closing night. The parade of the power mowers. Oh, that, that sounds awfully tempting. Yeah, I was uh, kind of hoping for opening night, George. Are you kidding? Just try getting seats to Sprinkler Mania. Hi. I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. We was wondering if we might chew the cud alone with Miss Stephanie. Go for it. Hi, guys. How are you? Speaking strictly for yours truly, lovesick. I know. Miss Stephanie, I'll always have an eternal pilot light burning in my chestal cavity for you. But since your dainty heart is on temporary loan to another, I've decided to pick up the scent of a different dating trail. And lo and behold, my nostrils hit the jackpot. Good for you, Larry. See, prayers are answered. I didn't pray for this. Well, the important thing is, one of us did. <laughs> Who is she? A fetching young filly that works at the bakery. We was lured there by an advertisement promising bear claws. It was just a come on. When are you two going out? Just as soon as she knows I'm alive. That's why I've come to you. I need some brushing up on my dating do's and don'ts. <sighs> Gee, Larry, I'm so swamped. <laughs> Maybe you should check a teen magazine. Well, there's some questions that can't be answered in print. For example, I've doused myself in two different colognes. All you need to do is take a whiff and tell me which one sets your female high to quiver. Ew. Ew. Daryl, make a note. Porcupine Musk got the bigger response. Now, as far as deodorant goes... I... Oh, guys! Could I take a rain check on this? So long as it's soon, that bakery gal's got my heart in a half Nelson. Come on, Daryl. Hello, guys. And doll. Uh... Oh, Michael. I've just been through a nightmare I don't ever care to relive. You've got to help me. Name it, Steph. Help Larry get a girl. Right. Now name something a mortal could do. <laughs> Michael, I'm serious. Underneath it all, Larry's nice. He deserves someone. And I deserve not to be that someone. Now, he likes the girl at the bakery. So will you help him? Please, please, please. Or else. <laughs> Steph, when you threaten like that, I'm putty. (laughs) 
Hola, muchachos. Excuse me, but are you here on purpose? Believe me, nobody's more surprised than me. <laughs> but I'm here to do you a big favor. Sorry, but your reputation as a wiseacre forces us to say, sure. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm sincere. Stephanie asked me to help Larry get his bakery gal. Oh, now I see who's pulling his strings. Okay, help away. All right. Now, why don't you tell me what you plan to do, and I'll critique. Well, I figured I'd state my case, and if the mood is right, invite her for a romp in the nearest bog. To tell you the truth, Lair, a few 80s gals are into that bog thing. Really? Well... What if I grease my hair flat and slick, take her out on a date claiming I'm Lorenzo Lamas, then halfway through the evening, break it to her that I am in truth Larry? Actually, Larry, I hear Lorenzo gets real annoyed at that kind of thing. Oh, dear. So I should just burst on the seam as myself? Well, Larry, in your particular case, I don't think you want to go with a visual right off. Uh, I know. How about uh, we write her a letter? Okay. Daryl, fetch our personal stationery. The one with Snoopy and the little bird. Ha have a seat, Larry. Okay, great. Now, uh, where shall we start? Well, seeing as I saw Jolene on her name tag, I suggest we go with Dear Miss Jolene. Uh, better to go with a grabber. How about, uh, Hey there, dream date. <laughs> Well, Daryl likes it, but Daryl doesn't think it's me. Well, Larry, relationships are hard enough without getting bogged down in honesty. <laughs> when I first made peeper-to-peeper -peeper contact with you at... Where'd you meet her? The bakery. Casa de Crawlers. I said to myself... Twist of fate rama now, uh, what's left to say? Uh, I'd like to spend a romantic evening with you talking under the soft blue glow of a sizzling bug zapper. <laughs> Let's do brunch. <laughs> Call me. Now, how should we sign off? I like you a lot, and that ain't no joke. You're kidding. It's the truth. Well, I suppose we could get away with a grain of that in there. <laughs> I like you a lot, and that ain't no joke. Still needs a capper. I got it. Massive hugaroonies. <laughs> Your ever-loving love god. Larry. Are you sure this kind of talk gets girls... Cross my aorta. Oh, honey, great news. You interpreted your dream all wrong. It, it meant something completely different th than what you thought. Dick, be smart. Drop it. E everything in your dream was something else. The, the sesame chicken represented your, your hunger for attention. And, and the lady in the, in the flowered hat uh, represented your unresolved differences toward your mother. And I, of course, was really the idealized male. What about your Dumbo ears? Jo Joanna, it was a dream. Don't analyze it to death, okay? Dick, let me tell you my interpretation. The sesame chicken was sesame chicken. The woman in the flowered hat was a woman in a flowered hat. And you were a wife-ignoring flirt. Joanna, why don't you just tell me what you want me to do? I want an apology. Joanna, that's ridiculous. I, I can't apologize for something I did in a dream. Well, I wish you'd try. Last night, you chased me with a giant radish. Oh, how typical. You know, I, I've been in other people's dreams, and, and I've been fine. Oh, Stephanie, I've been meaning to ask. 
Do you think Michael would be interested in going to the Southern Vermont Hardware Expo? George, you realize your invitation contains the word hardware. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Hi! Hi! So, Oh, dear. In the throes of ecstasy, I forgot my manners. Hi, I'm Larry. This I, is my I brother. I know, Larry. <laughs> What are you so excited about? Look, I actually got a reply to my letter from Miss Jolene. And perfume soaked to boot. Smell. You're not going to get me again. <laughs> I have to thank you for bending Michael to your will and forcing him to help me. Anytime, Larry. <laughs> what does the letter say? Well, leaving out the sweet nothings, she says she could tell from my letter that I was the kind of man she'd like to meet. That's wonderful. Your writing must have really gotten to her. Yeah, I guess so, because... Uh-oh. The bottom just fell out of cloud nine. What's wrong? Well, technically, I didn't write the letter. It was that weird but personable boyfriend of yours. <laughs> he stole the girl of my dreams. And with my own Snoopy stationery, too. <laughs> I sent you over there to help Larry get a girl. You helped yourself get a girl. You already have a girl who's now mad at you. Steph, donate those furrows to farmers. <laughs> I've been working with him, and I really think I can make Larry into a reasonable facsimile of the guy who wrote that letter. Hola, I'm Larry. <laughs> Steph, this is too hard. Can I quit? I know. Even with my cap cocked at a roguish angle, it's hopeless. Oh, Larry, it's not hopeless, is it, Michael? No, Steph, we always have evolution working for us. <laughs> Besides, looks aren't everything. Michael. White lie, Steph. In my own defense, the color of this sweater don't do diddly to bring out my eyes. <laughs> Now, let's not panic. Forget the wardrobe. Let's, let's put you through a simulated date maneuver. All right, Steph, now, why don't you help us out here by taking the part of Jolene? Wait, is she stunning? Well, Miss Jolene's no you, but she's attractive. Okay, it's a stretch, but I'll try. <laughs> okay, Larry, now picture this. You're in a bakery, you've taken a number. Now serving. Larry, take it away, Larry. Hi. I'm Larry, and you're Jolene. Hello. You're supposed to compliment me now. Oh, may I say you're looking as appetizing as a truck struck weasel. <laughs> Larry, you've just compared this earth angel to a dead rodent. Too mushy? No, just compare her to something breathtaking. A, a sunset, a summer's day. Mercedes leather. Oh, Michael. Maybe I could just cut right to the asking out part. Uh, would you like to join me for an evening of dinner, dancing, and a moonlight romp in the bog? Yeah. Larry, I thought we put the kibosh on that bog thing. I figured moonlight would take the curse off it. Well, let's, let's face it. Larry, you're... You're not me. Thanks for trying, Michael. Larry, I'm so sorry. Maybe you could lose yourself in your career. I think I'll just go home and pour my heart in a dustbin. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Larry. We got to come up with something. Let's let's put our heads together while not actually touching. <laughs> and see if we can come up with an idea. Now, how about we uh, we go over to the bakery? Uh, I go in and I, I break the sad news to her that I wrote the letter, but that I don't love her. Then she cries and screams, and you can zoom in and get her on the rebound. I like it. <laughs> Dick, we have to talk. 
you, you know, let me guess. You dreamt I was a crazed warthog and you're going to have to shoot me. I read this dream book of yours and I realized there are a thousand ways to interpret a dream, so I guess I was being a tiny bit... Insane. Unfair. From now on, I'm only going to pay attention to the things that you do when we're both awake. Honey, I promise the next time I make you mad, it'll be for real. Aw, thanks, honey. <laughs> Hello, is this the Stratford Inn? Uh, excuse me. Ah! <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, you're, 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 you're going to have to leave. Uh, I don't understand. You, you have to go before, before my ears start to flap. <laughs> I'm all set to go to the hardware expo. Oh, you finally found someone to go with you, George. Yeah, huh? Chester's cousin. Sounds great. I don't know what she looks like. All I know is she'll be wearing a big hat with flowers. <laughs> well, I'm sure she'll be here any minute, George. Lady! Lady! That's her. See the way she grabs up that donut? With a little piece of wax tissue. Very feminine. If you say so, Larry. Okay, now, don't hurt her too bad. Just enough for me to get her. Don't worry, Larry. You're talking to Mr. Sensitive. Olaf, is this uh, Casa de Crullers? Oh, it's you. Hi, Larry. Well, before your hopes soar too high, I'm afraid I'm going to have to slam the door on your souffle. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, well, then stop tape. I'll rewind and play back. You don't have to do this. I laughed plenty at that in the letter. Laughed at what? I'd, I don't remember taking a stab at any funny bone. You mean you really talk like that? <laughs> Why? Is there a problema? <laughs> Don't you talk like a normal person? Well, absolute met. Absolute. Oh, sure. Good Lord. I thought in that letter you were just trying to be funny. You know, pretending to be one of those phony kind of guys. I'm starting to sniff a bad review here. I knew I should have listened to my mother and not answered that letter. I guess I just couldn't resist that one line. Your ever-loving love god. No. I like you a lot, and that ain't no joke. You like that? It was sincere, and in English. That line was cheese whiz. <laughs> I mean, the rest of the letter was a fine room temperature brief. I like cheese whiz. It's real. Well, maybe not real, but it's down to earth. Like the kind of man I'm looking for. Simple, honest. And I'm sorry, not you. <laughs> well, that saves me the trouble of breaking your heart. And luckily for you, I've got just the guy. He's, he's the author of that line. He's, he's right outside. Wait here. Well, from my point of view, she seemed to take your heart stomping pretty well. She did, didn't she? Any advice for me before I commence a courting? Well, amazingly enough, Larry, just, just go in there and, and be yourself. Hi, I'm Larry. I hear we're going to be dating. <laughs> I knew I chose the wrong cologne. Make it one for my baby And one more for the road Daryl, another hit of milkshake. Make mine a double. 
women. Yeah, can't live with them, can't stuff them in a sack. <laughs> well, don't feel too bad, Larry. I get a feeling that uh, Jolene might not have even gone for me. You don't have to say things just to cheer me up. No, 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 I mean it. The woman obviously lacks depth. I mean, the whole time I was with her, she didn't even ask me what kind of car I drive. <laughs> women. And I had such high hopes. I mean, she works with lard. I like lard. <laughs> All the signs pointed to it working. I guess I'm just a sucker for a gal in a hairnet. <laughs> Uh, more vanilla over here, Daryl. I think Daryl's implying you've had enough. <laughs> well, any woman who didn't like that letter can only be described in three words. Peculiar. <laughs> and I thank the dating deity above for giving me a girl as normal as my Steph. Yeah. Imagine her in a hairnet. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to be fantasizing about you, lady. <laughs> well, this may just be the milkshakes talking, Lyre, but... <laughs> Someday, I know, you're going to find the right woman. And she'll have sisters. <laughs> Believe me, Larry, someday a woman's going to walk through that door and see you and not scream. Just like in the movies. You know, Larry, I like you. And that ain't no joke. Ditto, hombre. <laughs>